Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here, and today I'm going to be talking about my new Nature Nest rooftop tent. This thing is basically a knockoff of the Roof Nest, I believe Falcon is the name of it, and uh, it's really, really nice. I actually really like it. I got it off Amazon, so if you're looking for something that you can get easily and quickly, it took about a week, so it was actually really fast delivery. I got it just in time for this two-week trip that I'm on right now, so I've already spent about three or four nights in it, and so far it's been phenomenal. So I'm going to walk you through all the features of it. I'm going to talk a little bit about the design because that was one of the things that drew me to it, and if you're looking for a budget alternative to some of the bigger name, more expensive rooftop tents, I think this is a great option. I'm going to kind of tell you why. So again, if you want to learn more about this tent, stay tuned. All right, guys, so as I mentioned in the intro, this is my new Nature Nest rooftop tent. It is an aluminum bodied clamshell style rooftop tent. One of the really unique features of this thing that I really liked was this awning. So if you've seen a lot of these clamshell style tents, right, a lot of them are this sort of like V-shaped sort of uh, pop-up clamshell style. But a lot of the awnings come from the corner right up there and they just go out over this back window. Now, my old tent was just like that, and it was a really nice tent, I really liked it, but with that awning, if it was raining at all, if it was snowing, if there was any inclement weather, high winds, things like that, I couldn't even open the side windows. Now, that may not seem like a big deal, but from a venting standpoint, if it's winter, and you've got a diesel heater running and you need to regulate your temperatures, then you need to be able to open your side windows, even if the weather's a little bit, you know, less than perfect. Same goes for the summer. If it's really hot one night and you want to open your side windows but it's raining, then, you know, with most of these type of rooftop tents, you can't do that because the awning only comes off the back. So when I saw this one online, I was super intrigued because of the design of the awning. So again, it's basically the same sort of awning here, but instead of this fabric going straight down to the side there and just protecting the back window, they actually pulled it out to the side, so it's all one big piece, one big awning that goes all the way around. Then they give you four poles here, which these are kind of cool too. They are really easy to use. They basically just go in through this hole and into the back hole, and then that's what holds them in. But you can use an Allen wrench and you can remove these. So actually, you see where that one is on this side. On this other side, I had a problem. I had my awning there, so I wasn't able to mount it. So I actually moved this one. I loosened it up and slid it all the way up to the back here and then put it right there so that it could still work with the awning. So again, you've got these four poles here. They hold the awning out to the sides, which protects your side window. So as I mentioned, if it's, you know, summer and it's hot, but it's raining, you can have your side windows cracked. Maybe not all the way down, right? Because if it's pouring rain and maybe a little bit windy, it could get in. But you could get them down maybe a third of the way, maybe even a half of the way, which is really, really nice. So again, with this awning design, that is one of the biggest pluses for me for this tent. Another really nice feature of the tent is that it's black. So if you've seen a lot of these things like I think iCamper and again roof nests and things like that, they have a lot of these like blackout kits that they will sell for them where basically you can replace all of your material with black material. Now I did shoot a little bit of a video from the other morning here that I will cut in here where it's bright light outside and I'm inside the tent and you can see how much it blocks the light. So it was, it was bright light outside and it was still pitch black inside. So if you're a light sleeper or you get woken up every day by the sun, this could be something that could help you sleep in a little bit more and make it a little bit nicer of an experience in the morning when the sun comes up. It's about six o'clock, 6.30 in the morning, but the dark material is pretty fantastic because it blocks the light really super well. So it's pretty much pitch black in here. I mean, I don't even have this back flap zipped, but if you look outside, I mean, it's bright morning light. But in here, and I also have these windows vented, if I close these windows all the way, it'd be pitch black in here, which is pretty nice. Another feature that I really like, of course, like most rooftop tents, it comes with a ladder. This one has hook style uh, mounts though, which I really like because they're really easy. You just basically hook these on here, pull the ladder all the way out to its full length, set it on the ground, and you're done. Now they do have mounts on each side. So there's one on this side and then on the other side too, but then they also have them on the back right here too. So you have three different configurations. So if you have an awning on your driver's side, you can mount it on your passenger side. There was the other night it was pouring down rain. And since the biggest part of the awning is on the back, I did put my ladder on the back of it just so that I could get up and down. 
Another thing to point out here is this little Keter rail. So right underneath the back here, it has a little Keter rail. What that is for is for the shoe bags. So your shoe bags basically have a little pull in them and then you slide it in the end of this and it's just that easy. Now you've got your shoe bag right there. You can throw your shoes in it when you're getting into the tent at night so that they don't get dirt inside the tent. Another thing that I really like is they've got this mesh material at the bottom so that if they're vented, so if they're wet, water can drip out. If they've got snow on them, it can melt, it can drip out. Um, it'll let your shoes dry out overnight. And it is waterproof. I, I had it in the pouring rain the other night and it kept my shoes totally dry. But it's very simple, it's very big too, so it's easy to get boots and things like that in there or larger shoes, which I had problems with in the past where the bags were always super, super small. Or they were those styles kind of like you would hang on the back of your, you know, door in college where they just kind of set your shoes in there. They didn't have a cover. They weren't waterproof at all. So really, really nice. And you get two of these with the rooftop tent. So you get two of these. You could hang one there and one on the other side, one for you, one for your spouse or kid, you know, that kind of thing. So that's kind of nice that it comes with that too. Um, another thing that I really like about it is this channel design. So you can slide things into the channel to mount them, which is really, really nice. The same goes for the roof bars. It does come with a pair of roof bars up there and it works just the same way. You slide in basically some channel nuts in there and then you use those bolts to attach them once you get them lined up where you want them, but they're totally adjustable and movable. You can move them to whichever end of the tent that you wanted, wherever you want it to be. You can see I used mine to put my solar panel up there just so it's always in the sun. It's always charging my dual battery setup which is really handy, and then the cords just run down around the tent. As far as mounting the tent goes, it's actually really, really easy. It's very standard for most of these tents. It does have a pair of these sort of aluminum rails underneath. With my bed rack, it's extrusion based, so there is a rooftop tent mounting kit, but I used the stock stuff that came with it and just mounted it through there. It comes with a set of U-bolts though. So you would get four U-bolts and you could pretty much mount this to anything. You would just drop them down connect the bottom nuts, cinch them up until they're tight, and then you got your rooftop tent mounted. Um, here you can see this piece of elastic. This is actually what you put up when you bring your awning down just to sort of hold all the fabric in so it makes it easier to close the rooftop tent. Another thing that I really like are the heavy duty brackets. These things are super heavy duty, but they're really, really easy to use and they even help you close the tent. Now I'll throw the dimensions of the tent up here on the screen because it is a good size if you've got a full height rack. In my case, I've got a two inches above cab height rack. So then the tent actually goes over the cab of my truck and sits flush and looks really nice, but it's about seven feet long, about four feet across. And when it's closed up, it's a little under eight inches tall. So it's a really slim profile and it looks really nice on the truck. Now for the screens and stuff, they are a good quality screen. They've got YKK zippers, which is really nice. It's also got these really easy to use little toggles and loops so that for like this back strap, you can just easily tie that up. Another thing that I really like about that cover is it has a, a like a fiberglass pull through the bottom of it that adds weight to it and helps it pull itself down so that it stays at the bottom. And then you can also zip it straight down. So you see these zippers run down to here, but then it's got that pull that gives it structure. So even if you don't have it zipped, it still holds itself down pretty well without being zipped and and, uh, and just acts as a big flap. On the inside of the tent, the mattress material is really soft. It is a two and a half inch memory foam mattress, high density memory foam, and it actually sleeps really comfortably. I've just been sleeping on this with my uh, Coleman zero degree bag, and it's been just fine. But again, this is, it's with most of these inexpensive rooftop tents, they're really horrible, honestly. My first one that I had was really terrible and I had to replace the mattress. With this one, I've spent, you know, three or four nights in it with just this mattress. So I'm just going to see if I augment it, if it makes it significantly better, but it's totally usable the way that it is. Um, as I mentioned, this material is super dark, super thick, so it does keep the light out, which is awesome. It's got six pockets up here on top, which is really handy for putting things like iPhones, keys, wallets, that sort of thing in there. Then it's also got a pair of pockets on that side and another pair over here, which is awesome. So tons and tons of storage. On top of that, it's got an LED strip that runs up there and the cord runs down there. And then I plug it into just one of those little 10,000 milliamp hour battery packs and it'll run forever on that thing. It takes almost no power. So it's pretty nice that you can run those LEDs with a little battery pack. Here's the one that I use actually right there. And uh, you don't have to wire it up, but you could hardwire it if you wanted to. I may do that in the future, but for now just using the little battery pack works great. All right guys, so that was the Nature Nest aluminum clamshell rooftop tent. Honestly, total with shipping and everything was about $1,600. So for a budget-minded tent, this thing is awesome. So if you're looking for a nice clamshell style rooftop tent that is not gonna break the bank, this is a great option. So definitely check it out through that link in the description down below. Um, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, click that like button. If you have any questions or comments, post those up down below. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to answer any questions you've got. 
As always, there will be links to all my other stuff in the description down below as well. The link to the to that, I'll put a link to my sleeping bag, to my pillow, all the stuff that I've got up there, anything that I showed in this video, just to make finding stuff as easy as possible. But then there are also links to all my social channels, so check those out if you want to join the conversation somewhere else. I'd love to have you. Also, there'll be links to Patreon, where we've got a Discord. We talk 24-7 about our vehicles and gear and things like that. It's awesome, so if you want to join that, I'd love to have you over there as well. And then, last but not least, the Newbie Overlanders group on Facebook. Totally free to join, and it's an amazing group of people, mostly new folks asking questions and things, so if you're looking for a group that's not going to bully you or be ridiculous, uh, check that out. But again, I hope that was helpful for you. Check out that nature nest. It is an awesome tent for the money, and I personally recommend it, and I plan to use this thing for a long time to come, so it's really, really cool. But post up in the comments down below, click that like button, and if you're not already, make sure to click that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple every week, so tons of overlanding gear reviews, you know, stuff like that, features and benefits of gear, just general overlanding stuff, newbie overlanding stuff, and I, I'm a Nissan guy, so I do a lot of Nissan content too, so if you're into that, I'd love to have you. But again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.